Good morning, amazing person. It's Sunday. I am going to try to make a Sunday vlog because usually I go to the garden every Sunday, but I already went yesterday with my mom. So I'm meeting up with some friends today. I'm taking public transportation and I'm going to a different city. So it may be a fun day. I'm gonna take you with me and we'll see how the day goes. I'm ready to leave the house. I'm glad that it's a sunny day because I'm not bringing a lot with me. Definitely just one bag, nothing more. And maybe we can do some shopping. I'm not really sure what we're going to do. We're going to sit down and have something to eat or drink. But there is some time for shopping. We'll see. Also, I'm not bringing a tripod or a gimbal or whatever. I'm just filming with my phone. So it's going to be a very relaxed, raw vlog. I don't want to carry stuff with me today. These girls, we're friends. We're going to catch up. We're going to talk a lot. So minimum effort. <laughs> actually taking the subway to Central Station and once I'm there I'm going to take the train all the way to Almere. Almere is a, Almere is a town without a lot of history, lots of bricks. It's pretty new but it's really big and lots of my friends live there so that's why we're going there. It, it took me about an hour to get here if i was with a car it would have taken me 20 minutes made it it's beautiful outside i'm really enjoying this day
Before I go home, I want to sit down and enjoy the sunshine and tell you how my day went. So I was with two of my best friends that I have known for the longest time. We walked around, we went to a city beach, a promenade, we had lunch and we shopped a little, just a tiny little. I uh, went to H&M and I got two bikinis because they had great colors and great sizes, so I got two and we really filled the day. Next stop is home. I think I have to clean a lot of things still because I had a chill morning. This morning I just washed the bathroom. I didn't even clear out the dishwasher. I washed the bathroom. I watched a sermon on television and that was basically it. So there's a lot more to do. And maybe I'll do some meal prepping for tomorrow. And I also have to go through a lot of uh, keto recipes because I think I'm gonna start keto food again. I really felt great when I did that and I wanna feel like that again. So let's go home and get these things done. You can really see what's in my bag. I didn't bring a lot. I even brought a notebook, but I just watched some videos when I was in the train. Okay, before I put everything away, I'm going to do this very tiny haul of H&M bikinis. It was not really cheap, but considering what I got, I really lucked out because I need to have bigger tops and smaller bottoms and because these bikinis are very new in store I got the right sizes I got a 44 and a 46 and if I leave the pads inside I can wear them with full coverage left to right and this is just perfect also this is thicker than it usually is usually it's just a very tiny strap which just um, presses into your bag this is really perfect and I thought about just buying the tops but I ended up also buying the bottoms because then I have a set I knew I would regret it later so you can mix and match as much as you want which is just perfect I bought um, 38 on the bottom and 46 on the top, which is after my breast reduction. So yeah, I'm just glad I can finally wear stuff like this. I'm gonna wear this all summer long, along with my swimsuits. Okay, I'm gonna put this away and then I'm going to unload the dishwasher So these are basically all of the recipes that I have to go through. For instance, I have to veganize this recipe for macaroons. So I'm gonna keep this book just as it is. This is the only cookbook that my husband will use. And I have this whole book of what kind of meals you can make with raw spaghetti. Spaghetti made out of vegetables. Um, they lied. There are a whole bunch of other things in this book. 
So I'm gonna go through this book. I have this book, Surinamese Vegetarian Food, which I'm definitely going to keep. I'm originally from Suriname and Suriname food is the best, but certain people love meat. So this is a book that makes all the recipes, but without meat. So I'm definitely going to keep this and add some um, memos. This one is simply vegan. I'm gonna go through it, but I don't think these things are very keto. This is a cookbook with Asian basics. Asian basics. It's not just a cookbook. It's also telling you where everything's from and how you should use them. Be keeping this and this book was my Christmas present one of these years and it basically teaches you everything about cooking this is definitely a keeper i'm gonna try and get more out of it really see that i use this during cooking these are all of the recipes that i kind of accumulated i'm gonna go through these and only keep the ones that i already veganized I'm gonna be busy, but busy in a good way. I'm gonna make myself a cup of coffee, go through one of these books to start with. I'm gonna start with the easiest one to really get in the, you know, get the feeling of it. And after that, it's only six o'clock. So I still have a lot of time. After this, I think I'm going to clean up my desk for tomorrow cause work. I just have to work tomorrow, it's Monday. And after that, I'm going to take a long shower. This is actually what I have to clean up before I can start um, going through the recipes. So I cleaned my desk, everything is in order. And what I'm going to do right now is take a shower. And after that, I'm going to start with the recipes because I definitely need to find at least one dinner and one lunch recipe for the rest of the week. So that's it, that's the plan for the rest of Sunday. Hopefully I can make it happen. It's already 11.30. It's way over my bedtime, so I'm gonna stop before I regret all of this tomorrow morning when I have to work at 7 a.m. Hi, amazing person. I just came home from the mall. I bought some amazing sweaters, not your standard H&M and Zara sweaters. They're from TK Maxx, so they're from all over the place. I'm gonna show them to you. Also, I bought some vegetables to cook with cause I'm going to be filming a vegan keto recipe so this is the first one i got it's pretty basic it's darker in real life but it looks lavender on camera but it's it's actually dark blue but it looks lavender on camera this is the first one this is the second one i fell in love with a pattern and the sleeves are also really really cool and it's not a really it's not a really thick sweater it's kind of light so you can really wear this all through spring this is the third one i got it's also darker in real life the sleeves are perfect when you're eating in a restaurant because your sleeves won't get dragged into your food and it literally goes with everything it's so i don't know it's so easy the material is perfect and again this one is not too thick and this is the fourth one and it's the same one as the third it's just not a color in real life it's kind of lavender but it looks gray on camera it's so easy going so beautiful it's so super soft, I had to get this one too. 
and last but not least this is a dry brush that i got i used the round one with a very short handle and i'm really hoping that this is going to do a better job because you, because you can really have a firm grip with this one so before i film this recipe i gotta clean up the kitchen a bit and it doesn't look like a lot but i really gotta clean up the kitchen a little bit before i can film this cooking recipe i just finished the recipe video so it's a very gloomy day and i'm waiting for the postman to deliver a package so i am going to watch an episode of stranger things while i'm organizing my administration a little yeah that's basically what i'm going to do right now So I basically just made this recipe video and I get to eat this. How amazing is it? It looks great. It smells great. So I really hope it tastes great too. I'm actually doing a series of vegan keto cooking and making recipes is a part of doing the series. So. I get to eat a lot of different amazing recipes. At a certain point, you really get to like maybe four out of eight. And if you make them a couple of times, you can really eyeball everything. You don't have to measure everything because, you know, you want to keep it as simple as possible. So I'm going to eat this right now and watch another episode of Stranger Things. It's so good. I wish you could taste it with me. It's really good. A lot of flavor. For some reason, I can hardly believe it's cauliflower. I'm gonna eat the vegan chicken. Really good. It is a lot, but this whole plate is 500 calories, so I can eat it in two portions, half now, half later. I know. I just took a shower, and right now I'm going to load up on retinol. I just put on some eye cream to protect my eyes, and I'm going to use this from The Ordinary. It has a retinol in it. And after that, I'm going to top it off with Neutrogene, also retinol. And I, before I start, I make myself a snack. I always use these cups because I don't drink a lot of tea. I have some chips and some nuts in here. It's not a lot, but I don't feel hungry at all because I had a, a very large dinner. So I'm just going to eat this because I want to eat something while I'm editing. So this is my, my happy cup. <laughs> and I'm going to snack on this while I'm editing. I know I'm not the best when it comes to skincare, but I'm trying my best. And for some reason, it's working. Maybe it's just jeans. I don't know. 
but I did some research about what my skin needs and everything points to retinol so I am using retinol every other night not during the day during the day I load up on sunscreen and it is working for me so that's it I kind of feel great I don't know what it is uh, maybe because I'm really ahead of everything and everything is really going smooth I'm not sure also I'm gonna be editing while I'm watching another episode of Stranger Things it looks to me I just finished the first episode and kind of looks like everything is a bit darker this season a bit more horror a bit less Disney and I I hate it I hate it and I love it that Netflix shows you all of the episodes at the same time. It gives you that option and I don't have the willpower to just watch one episode. I'm afraid I'm going to watch all of the episodes this weekend, but we'll see how it goes. We will see. Okay, talk to you later.